Sorry about all the noise, my fan's running. Well, it's obvious I ain't been in my shop for a very long time, and this isn't. I went ahead and put this together because I didn't want to videotape this, but I'm gonna show you what's going on, what I gotta fix. Right there. We got a pond, about an acre pond on the back of our property, and we need a. I got a fountain, but I want to put some. Uh, I want to put an aerator in it. So I'm gonna try this homemade aerator. And as you can see, I already built most of it. Let me get you a little closer up here if you can see it. Right there. There's, I got little holes drilled on the top of this. Right there, right there, all the way across. All these little holes. And the ideal is, pump air into it and see that's going to aerate the pond I'm going to try it first in this tub of water actually I'm going to bring it out there to the house fill it full of water hook it up and see if it works if it works then I'm going to take and cut into it I know I should have done this first but I want to make sure it worked before I went to this process if this was upside down, I'm going to cut these T's and I'm going to put a 12 inch riser on it with a cap right there, right there, one right there, maybe one in the middle, one like this, corner, back corner. And in theory what it's going to do, it's going to keep it off the ground like that. I don't want it sitting in the muck. I'm going to pick it up about a foot off the bottom of the pond Let's see if that works what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my air hose it's going to connect to this to this pump right here and there's the air hose that's a, a pump for a, a septic system, septic tank our old house where we were living I had to buy one when I bought the house Four years later, we decided to move back home, so I put the house on the market. But when they did the house inspection, the plumber said my pump that I bought for my septic tank was too small, so I had to buy a new one. So since this one was only barely four years old, I kept it. And I brought it you know, back home, and I've been having it ever since. We bought this property, I got a pond, so I'm gonna hook that up to this pump. But this air hose will try to aerate the pond. Now, I'm going to take this tub, I'm going to bring it up there to the house, fill it full of water, hook it up, and see if it works. Be right back. Uh, I just turned that water off. I don't need that thing full of water. I don't even know if anything's gonna sink. Uh oh. <laughs> we'll have to weight it down. Wait, there it goes. All right. Well, there's nothing. I'm gonna have to set this down so I can plug it in.
Well, the idea was good. Problem is, I'm not getting no air down here. It's all coming up right here. How can I get the air to go to the other end? Bigger hole, maybe? Alright. Hey, nothing else. I'm gonna cut it right here. Attach it right here, and it'll just be this little thing right there. My plan was to have this four foot as an aerator. How can I get the air to go to the other end? It's definitely bubbling. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. All right, test number two. I don't know if you can see that, but I taped the holes that are going across and up the top. I taped those holes closed, and down here, tape those holes. Let's see if that's going to help. I don't know. We're going to try. It really didn't help any. It's still only going half of the first half of the pipe of the uh, aerator. All right, trial number two did not work. If I can get it bubbles to here, then what I do is I'm just going to cut it connect all these together and take this side off completely and it just be right there almost a two by two so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna tape every other hole on these pipes every other hole and see if that's gonna work be right back all right ready for test number what is this? Test number three, four? Who? I don't know, I lost count. You can see what I did. I taped every other hole. That's supposed to be a, a T for a leg and another leg over there, but that doesn't matter. But I taped every other hole. If I can get the air hole, the air to come down to here, the thing I'll do is I'll just cut it and put my cross piece, you know, some 90s, and then do away with this half. Okay, let me hook it up. See what happens. <clears throat> All right, pump's running. Here we go. something weighted down.
I don't know. Now I'm getting bubbles down here. But I'm getting very few right here. A while ago I had bubbles halfway down here. But now they're going down that pipe. You know what? Maybe I just do three runs. One, two, three. Right there, that's it. Damn's a lot of waste. Alright, we're gonna keep working on it. Okay, this is trial number I don't know, 123. <laughs> that's a configuration. Basically, every white space is a hole there's one hole there but there's like a leg it's gonna go there and a leg here a leg another leg leg, leg a leg there so instead of my holes being one inch apart you see that the holes are now four inches apart and I did the whole thing let's see if that's gonna make a difference <clears throat> All right. Real nothing. Experiment number, who I don't know, I lost count. So this is what we did. The other half is over there against the wall, but you can see what it is. I cut the half off. Capped off these two legs. This one and that one. That one and that one is going to be the legs. Uh... That's them right here. And why they're here, I fill them full of sand. And then I put some, some epoxy in there. So they, they're full of sand. So they're going to hold it down, hopefully, with the weight. These little stubs here, there, and one on that end. And this one right here, that's just pushed on there. They're not glued. I had to plug it so the air don't come out. Then the other thing I did was I sealed all the holes and then I came back and re-drilled a smaller hole. The one I sealed was a eighth inch hole and this is about a sixteenth inch hole. So we're gonna try a smaller hole too because I want the bubble smaller. So I'm not going to bring this over there, set it up, and see if it's going to work. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn on the video, the recorder. <laughs> anyway, it works. The smaller holes are much better, too. So it's making a much smaller bubble. Oh yeah. So if you're gonna make one, make sure you use a 16th inch drill, drill bit, not a 1/8. I mean, uh, yeah, don't use a 1/8. It's too big. 
that's a 16th inch uh, hole drill bit. And I think I'm gonna pop a couple of holes on the end right here. Down here with these two caps. I'm gonna see if that's gonna help. I'm gonna hit my drill bit right back. going through the teeth. I mean, it ain't coming out the cap. It's coming out that one right there. Not much, though. It's all right. I'm thinking about putting a few more holes in it just to see what happens. I hope I can do it with the water running. I do it with the air running. You know what? I don't think so. I'm gonna leave it like that. Take it out, and dry it off, put the legs on it. We'll be ready to go. All right, back in the shop. Wiped it down real good. Now, just to re recap, this was almost four feet. Hold on, let me get it. That's the other half of it. I went right here. But that little pump, well, it ain't strong enough to push the air all the way down. That thing is almost four feet long, about 46 inches, and it's probably like 23 wide. So it wouldn't come all the way to the uh, back half, I guess. So I just cut it in half. Cap the two middle rungs and the two ends of the legs. I'm fixing to put the legs on there let it dry and uh put it in the pond hopefully it'll work we shall see Hopefully it's heavy enough to stay down in the bottom of that pond. We shall see. If not, I'll have to tie a brick to it. I'm 
might go ahead and plug these holes. They didn't do nothing. Just, I don't know if I said it right, but the first hole I drilled was eighth inch hole. That's the, the ones that are circled. Those are the eighth inch holes. Well, actually, they were all eighth inch holes, but I plugged them all up and I came back with a little 1 16th hole. Right there, one right there, all the way down. The 1 16th is really good. Got them small bubbles. Much better. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up for now. And the next video will be be putting it in the pond which is going to be a trick see you in a little bit well i don't know how much you've been able to see or how much you've seen apparently my phone uh it's not good to have your phone sitting out in the sun it was overheating so it shut down so i cleaned up the pond i put the uh air aerator in it's just right out in front of this bush and that white pipe is where the electrical cord for the fountain goes, so I'm just gonna zip tie it to that. Go to there, go to the pump, plug it in. Now it's probably gonna turn up some mud at first, but, because I turned up some mud when I was down in there. I just hope it's sitting right. I'm gonna find out. Hold up. Hold up. I didn't connect here. Well, I connected it. I just didn't tighten up the little worm clamp. Tighten that up. I'm gonna try again. Alright. Okay. Alright, try this again. Hey, we're gonna turn the fountain off first. We got bubbles. <laughs> My airline almost floated up. I kind of thought that might have happened, but it didn't. It's not too bad. At least we can see it whenever the grandkids are fishing. Got ourselves an aerator in my pond, finally. I'm gonna give you an idea how low this pond is. When we bought this house a little over a year ago, this pond was, you see that pipe right there? That's the overflow. It's probably down almost two feet. We had a major drought and the water just dropped. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. So to help put some water back in the pond, it's hard to see it from here, but that black thing hanging from the tree right there, that's a garden hose. It goes all the way to that little building right there. There's a whale in there. The house used to be on a uh, on a well water, but the whale still works. I got it to work. 
So I got hoses ran from there all the way to this tree to fill this thing up with water. I run it about three hours. I shut it off for about an hour. Then I turn it back on. Oh, man. That is great. That is great. Cool. Fountain and aerator. Got some, some very small young catfish in there. And uh, threw some uh, older bass in there. And apparently they uh, gave birth because I got some little bitty bass floating and swimming around in there. Glad my ducks are tangled up. Oh well, they can stay tangled. That water's ice cold. All right, I'm gonna finish cleaning out some trees. And uh, yeah, this was mainly just to uh, do the uh, aerator. So it's in the pond, it's working. I'm happy. See y'all later.